it didn't happen, it would have been something else. I would have been in a grave. Yeah. Or somewhere else. Who the hell knows where they would have put me. When did you start? I've been I've been fat my whole life. I've been thinking about losing weight for a long time, for probably about 30 years. But when did you start losing weight? When Last March. Last March. So yeah. right around the pandemic. Right Literally. When right when it hit, my brand new baby and my wife, they were going to go to Columbia to show the child. You know, you have to show the child to the family. And it was around March 10th. We get to the airport. Some sh they, they wouldn't let my dog get on the plane because they didn't have the, the air conditioning didn't work in the in the galley or whatever that is. So we turned right back around and went home. And that's the day shit hit the fan. I was supposed to go on tour a week right after that. Everything done. I knew it was all going to be done. I was talking to my agent. He was like, yeah, this shit's going to be fine. Don't worry. They're going to still do the show in Hawaii. I was like, nah, watch. This shit's going to be fucking done. So bottom line Why, is... Why did you think everything was going to get shut down? I don't know. I had a feeling. I just had a, I had a feeling that this was just bigger than what it was. Mm. You know, than just it, it just seemed fishy. It just seemed fishy. Yeah. So pretty much, I mean, to get the dog onto the plane, we had to put her on the scale because she was a little overweight. What's overweight for a dog? I'm not really sure. I think she looks great. What is overweight for a dog, though? How do they decide that? Like, I used to have a dog that was 140 pounds. Is What's he in, overweight? I don't think so. It's just jacked. This is an, <laughs> <laughs> that's all I think. If you're at a certain we just jacked. This dog is an English setter, supposed to have a little waist. And listen, she lost it a little bit. She lost herself. She's living in Brooklyn now, you know? She's not back where she's from. Exercising. Exactly. It's yeah. different. Yeah. She's eating different foods. Right. Her metabolism changed. Right. So I don't blame her. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I dealt she with it. She fed her. I feel her. And then I started losing weight because of her because we both got on the scale. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? What was the highest? 380 something holy yeah. shit it was despicable i didn't look it though holy i looked shit. about 350 <laughs> <laughs> a fucking round ball of fucking meat a meatball yeah i was a fucking meatball well what was your health like like what did you what did it feel like walking around like that because that's this is the thing man <clears throat> um people love to talk about like fat shaming yeah and i know it's not good to make people feel bad but you have to but that you have to shame me. I was shamed yeah. into this for sure. It's unfortunate <clears throat> that you have to make people feel bad to start getting them to change. But sometimes, whether it's a person doing that to you or you just looking in the mirror and you're feeling bad, that f that feeling is just reality. That's yeah. what that feeling is. Like you can't fat shame a skinny. You can't fat shame Jamie. No, he's not fat. Right, so if you said, "Hey, Jamie, you're fat," like it doesn't work. It doesn't it mean anything. It to him. only means something when it's real. And it's an indulgence thing. It's not, it's, it's not a thing that you can't control. It's a hard thing to control. It's a hard thing to bounce back from. And that's what I'm most impressed with you. You've, you've really bounced back. You've lost 130 fucking pounds, man. And we, we had a good workout today. We went over to the Ana Gym.